Hi everyone! Welcome to today's episode of Catching Up with Yosaka Stationery. So, so casual. casual. I hope you all are well, enjoying your week so far, and having fun watching all the YouTube videos that we put out recently. <laughs> I know, we've been like... We've been busy. We've been busy. Busy, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're putting our YouTube studio to good use. And this past week, we actually um, published part two to our Vanishing Point Explained series. So part two was a uh, nib and line comparison. Um, so I've been meaning to do that for a couple of weeks now. Finally got a chance to do it, which was a lot of fun. And if you all haven't checked it out yet, be sure to watch it. Um, I don't know who's watching this if you're not already thinking about getting a vanishing point because it is pre it's pretty dry <laughs> if you're not thinking about getting a vanishing like, point. Ooh, I just want to learn everything about this <laughs> pen that I yeah. care nothing about. I know. Um, but what is interesting about it um, is that actually we started to use our new nib log. Yes. Yeah. We have actually, because we do our nib and line comparison videos, um, you know, every now and then, we've done a sailor for and 21k nib and line comparison pilot custom 74 and platinum 3776 century mm -hmm. um so because we want to be doing more of these videos we thought it would be a good idea to kind of standardize it a little bit more even and make it possible for you all at home to participate with your own pens and um really see like what lines we're talking about when we talk about a line comparison mm -hmm. so why don't you tell everyone a little bit about what you did with the nib log. So the nib log is a fun template where I put different things that you can record about whatever pen you have at home and at the bottom there's a little section that you use in your videos to compare the line thicknesses. Right. So if you really like writing with like a 0.3 gel pen and you're like trying to match that thickness you can print out this template at home and really see like, oh, this pilot pen is this thickness and I would like it like this if I like this gel pen. Mm -hmm. And it's just a fun tool to be able to, you know, log whatever nib you have on your current pens. And, you know, there's some space for writing. There's some space for testing how wet the nib writes, how much ink it lets out at once. Mm -hmm. And yeah. It's a, a fun template. I think you all will like. It's very comprehensive. You did a good job with it. Thank you. Yeah, it's great. I with think your people, help. Oh, yeah, we worked together. It was a team effort. Yes. Um, and it was Neil's big idea in the first place. Mm -hmm. A lot of big ideas are Neil's big ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but we are looking forward to making this available for you all to download and have access to uh, from the comfort of your own desks very soon. So look out for that because that is coming soon. And um, check out the video if you have questions about Vanishing Point. Um, aside from that, we also uh, have something exciting that we are um, working on, which is full collection of Kobe inks, 83 full colors that are typically only available in Japan are going to be available at Yoseka. Yes. So we're really excited about that. For anyone who doesn't know, uh, Kobe inks are made by a stationery store in Japan called Nagasawa, and they're located in Kobe, which is why the name is Kobe inks, and they're inspired by colors found around the city of Kobe. So um, we've had these inks for a long time, like maybe 20 or 30 of them, but not all of the colors are actually distributed by... Um, the sailor distributor who is the one that handles distribution for these Kobe inks in the United States. But um, we're excited to be bringing like 50 additional colors essentially to um, to all of you who, who are excited about inks. And Alex did a little swatching video. I'm not going to say a little actually because no, this very, was like... very in-depth This watching. was very in-depth. Yeah. All together... It, how long was the video? Like an hour long or something? It's it's quite long. You know, it's 83 yeah. inks are all swatched with the what number ink they are. Mm -hmm. And so the whole thing is compiled into one long video. It's not sped up at all. And it's just, you know, you, if you're curious about an ink color, you can like scroll to exactly which one you want. Mm -hmm. and it's, yeah, very in-depth 
swatch video. I know, I have some new favorites from the collection and we'll be sure to do another like sort of YouTube video on them when the inks are actually in. For now, they're just under the coming soon page because they're not physically here yet. It's, uh, it takes a long time to ship heavy ink bottles yeah. <laughs> from Japan to the United States. So yeah. they're on their way to us and they should be arriving soon, but that's something that we had fun working on last week. Mm -hmm. um, what else is new, Ashley? Well, also this week, there was a very cute little interruption at the store. Oh, right. right. That's right. Was, that's right. We had a, a very cute, very big interruption <laughs> into any and all work getting done at the at Yoseka. Um, so we actually had uh, Jacob. Uh, we brought Jacob into the shop and... Um, it was super fun. It was actually because a good customer of ours, Lara, Lara was visiting um, and she said she would come back. And I just wanted her to uh, meet Jacob and for Jacob to meet her. Mm -hmm. um, I just love Lara. That and was so cute. Yeah. He was like playing with stuff everywhere. Everywhere. It was so funny. Yeah. Like we have a little back section where we do other things, secret things. Um, and Jacob was in the back, like pushing stuff. I wasn't there that day, but I saw all of it on Instagram. Oh it was so cute. So funny. I watched that reels like 50 times. Yeah, you're just so um, <laughs> he had a good time. I feel like it's fun now because he can walk. Mm -hmm. And so he's just like, I just let him kind of roam free in the store um, and he can just kind of pull whatever pens. And he, he didn't make too big of a mess, which is actually a good thing. Um, he could have really wreaked havoc back then. That's true. <laughs> I think it's really cute that it's also um, reminiscent of how you and Neil like, grew up in your parents' shops and oh, whatnot. Oh, did you read I that? read that. I was like, this is the most heartwarming story ever. I was so immersed. <laughs> I, yeah, that's right. I shared a little bit about how I grew up in a, my parents' business as well as a kid growing up, and so did Neil. And I always have like super happy memories of just like some formative childhood memories in my parents' business. Um, really just like doing my homework there, taking my naps there, talking to the customers. And I really want that for Jacob too. Um, so bringing him into the store this past week was a nice reminder of that and um, just really brought me a lot of joy to be able to bring him into the store and have him meet our wonderful customers and um, yeah, see what see have him see what work is like for, for mom and dad. <laughs> and he recently has begun to say Yoseka. No Yeah, way. It's, it's unintelligible. <laughs> It's so funny. <laughs> and other than that, this past week, we have some newly added stationery. We actually have a lot of fountain pens to talk about this week. Um, let's start with these ones let's that you did an unboxing for. Yes, this week I did an unboxing for the new Sailor Tequila Base Cocktail Series. Yep. And I explained in the video yeah. some history about the Sailor Cocktail Series plural mm -hmm. in general. So if you want to know more about that, you can check out my unboxing video. But I'm going to show a close-up look under the camera here. These are on the left. These are what we have of the cocktail series. We're actually missing one mm -hmm. pen, which is happens to be like favorite. the most popular yeah. probably. It was the Cyclamen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Cyclamen was like a nice pinky yellow color. So we're missing that one. But then there's the lavender margarita, the blue margarita, the Mexican screwdriver, and Mockingbird, which I've never had any of these cocktails. It's like I said in the video, but they're all like such pretty color combinations. Mm -hmm. It makes me want to have all of these cocktails. Yes. I really like the the translucent gradient that happens. Wait, what is this one called? The orange one? The Mexican screwdriver. Oh, okay. Because you know what? They've had a tequila sunrise cocktail. Right. Sunrise. Yes. <laughs> but they all have like more opaque ends mm. and like translucent bodies. So yeah. if you look at the drink colors, they do kind of match the the drink gradient on the inside. But yeah, these pens look really yummy. Mm. I'm going to have to try ordering a... Other than that, on the trays here before, which I removed, are these little Sailor Minis. They are new, and there's actually a collection of three new Sailor Minis. These are the Sailor Mini Recontre. 
Rencontre. Rencontre. Oh boy. Sorry, that's It's bad. French, it's obviously. French, yes. And it's French for encounter. Um, and these are Sailor Minis. So they're pro gear slims that are miniature, a little bit shorter with the 14 karat nib. And the colors that they come in are dark burgundy, sky blue, and then there's a gray version that we're sold out of. Um, but these are Sailor Minis that come with 14 karat carrot nibs and um, the first, very first Sailor Minis actually had um, threading around the back over here so that you could twist on your cap. But these are the newer versions where there's no threading. You just post it and write. And I actually prefer that because I think that's a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. um, what's cool about these is that Sailor figured out a way to make this marbling pattern very, very pretty through injection molding. And um, apparently it is rather difficult to achieve this marbling pattern with these materials and not have the colors completely just like blend in and become just uh, a mixture of one color as opposed to um, these are uh, swirled marble patterns of two colors mm -hmm. so that's what makes these pens special and the marbling pattern on these little minis are um, unique from mm -hmm. pen to pen. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, I, in my honest opinion, Sailor Minis are the cutest pen. They are really I'm cute. saying I'm deadpan because I'm so serious right now. They are the cutest so pen. Cute. You can fight me. Um, I honestly believe that these are the cutest pen. Um, and I just love the way they look. So I'm going to go on to these new glass pens that we have from J. Urban. We've had some of their glass pens, their glass dip pens in the past. And these are really, really pretty swirling ones. Yes, this green one is like so perfect for spring actually. And yeah, they, so we actually, we have lots of glass pens at this point, um, but glass pens can be so beautiful. And I'm glad we're getting some of these like prettier and like more ornate ones too, mm -hmm. with like these decorative touches. Um, so this has like these swirled patterns, which look so cool as you're just like twirling them around in your hand. And um, yeah, glass pens are just super convenient for ink swatching. I think that most people probably don't write, don't like sit down and write with their mm -hmm. glass pens because you just have to be dipping a lot, but they're great for ink swatching. Um, they're probably good for drawing too, just like mm -hmm. if you're drawing a little doodle onto a letter that you wrote or something like that and you just want it in a different color ink than your pen is inked with, this mm -hmm. is good. So they're super easy to clean. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I like this version because I feel like the holding the, the, the ball towards the end it fits kind of nicely mm. in your hand. Yeah. And like feels comfortable if That's you are true. writing for swatching. So I like this version. Jay Urban has a couple different versions yeah. of glass pen um, profiles. So that I like true. this one. I am a fan of this one. Mm. Okay. So next up, we have some uh, very beautiful pens that are from Tasha. So we have five new pens here, and these are the new Tasha Miyagi Kaga fountain pens. They are all Urushi lacquer over an ebonite body, um, inspired by different occurrences in nature, the different seasons. And what's cool is that they are ebonite, so they're actually very lightweight. For those of you who don't know, ebonite is um, like a very hardened rubber that they used to make things out of all the time. And they used to make a lot of fountain pens out of because it's durable and it uh, lasts a long time. It's hard to break. And what's cool about these beautiful pens is that they are made actually by Tasha, but they use a sailor nib. And for those of you, if anybody's like purchasing this and wondering why there's a sailor converter, it's um, sailor makes a lot of Tasha's pens for them. And so this is a sailor nib, but it's a sailor 18 karat nib. Mm -hmm. So it's not found. Special. Yeah, it's special. It's not found on any other sailor pen. You have to get a Tasha pen to try their 18 karat nib. And it obviously is devoid of like the sailor branding. It just says Tasha, um, but, but sail it's a sailor nib on this pen. Um, it's a spring loaded cap. 
just like, um, reminds me of like the Platinum 3776 Century to keep it airtight from drying out. So this one is called the Spring Willow. So these are inspired by the Four Seasons. This one's the Spring Willow. This one is inspired by Summer. So it's called Summer Shimmer. And this one has actually, it's raised. So mm -hmm. it feels, um, it feels like tree bark or almost it's like bumpy and you mm -hmm. can feel the texture as you run your fingers along the body of the pen. Um, this one is called Autumn Monsoon and it's also textured. This one is so cool. This one's really cool. This like, one's like sleek. It's like metallic-y, it's gray, it's like a little bit shimmery. Mm -hmm. It's very cool. Um, and this one is called Winter Eclipse. And that's such a good name for it. It is. And then this one is not from the Four Seasons. This one's just called Lunar Solstice. And how beautiful. The, the Raiden little speckles throughout the pen. Mm -hmm. This one also has Raiden on it as well. Mm -hmm. So I like those, the different touches in this collection here. Right. Oh, and you were noticing before. Oh, yeah. yeah. They also have the production line run on the pen there. So this one, it's kind of hard to see, but it says 27 mm -hmm. out of 100. And, and it's like handwritten or something. Yeah. It's very handwritten, mm -hmm. which is a cool detail. So it's cool to know you, you only have, you would have one of this limited set of oh, 100. Okay. It's a limited set of 100. Yeah. Um, okay, what else is new, Ashley? So we also have, I'm gonna jump to these oh, okay. BGM. Okay. Sealing seal stickers. There are two different types, so I'm gonna show these ones first. Okay. These are the BGM sealing seal flake stickers, and these are the opaque mm -hmm. wax seal versions. Mm. And you can see some of them have like this gradient happening. Mm -hmm inside the stickers, which is really cool, but there's a plastic backing on the backs of these and you peel off the backing, there's adhesive on the back, but they're all 3D, like raised mm. flake stickers. So yeah. they're kind of, they're not like squishy, but they're, they're definitely 3D. They resemble real wax seals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they have them in different like color combinations here. Yeah. And they're like then, a little bit metallic-y. Yeah, they've got like some, some glitter on them. Yeah. Yeah. So very, very cute. So very cute pretty. For making little wax seal imitations. And then these then other we have ones. These, which are just transparent, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like these resemble wax seals a little more. Or I don't know, I'm thinking of those like the clear wax seals that you put like gold on top of. Yes, and there is kind of, there's gold specks mm -hmm. in these uh, wax seals. Yeah. And there's a lot of different designs in them. So you can make a lot of different little, oh, that's cute. They have like, you can use it on packages. You can use it on your like flower, on dried flowers for envelopes. How cute. But I feel like the, the wax seal sticker is becoming a big trend. Mm -hmm. Like there's been stuff from Cameo, from BGM now, like everyone's getting on the like wax seal without having to use wax. Yeah, <laughs> all the setup. Mm -hmm. A lot of these have like little, uh, they say like thank you or for you. So they're really meant perfectly for gift packaging and for like if you're sending mail to a friend or something like that, they'd be really perfect because they have those expressions on them already. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, all right. And then last week, we actually talked a lot about a new Taiwanese artist that we added called Donway Industry. And we talked about how Donway is actually best known for their cement stamps. So um, here I have one. <laughs> just one. Just one. This is 
like a very good example of their design style. It's just like a little bit funky. Um, and there's like an abstract designs one. There's like a characters one. And they're made out of really smooth cement. Like it's a like really, so yeah. Satisfying. So satisfying to feel it. The stamp surface is rubber as you would find in a regular stamp. It's just that the holder is cement. Mm -hmm. So yeah, these are in now and you can check them out online. I think That's that it. is it for this week. Yeah. Do you have a favorite? Oh, the cement stamps. Ooh. These just feel so nice in your hand and yeah. it kind of reminds me of chalk. Like it's, this. Oh, it does remind you because it's so smooth. It's so smooth. Like you don't think that cement can be that smooth. Yeah. And it's just like the, the colors that they use in the mixed cement are right. super like, um, the way they blend I don't or know don't how blend. They did it, but they mix yeah. them by hand. They mm -hmm. do these, they do the cement blocks by hand, um, and then they make the stamps out so, of them. Yeah, they're all very unique, and I just I like holding them. What about you, Daisy? Do you have a favorite? My favorite is the thing that you will have to fight me on if you <laughs> say anything bad about them. The Sailor Mini Rencontre. I don't know how to say <laughs> um, Maybe I'll just count them Encounter. Call them Encounter. Encounter, yeah. <laughs> Sounds but I great. Love, I love a Sailor Mini, um, and I have one, um, and I love I love mine. I love looking at mine so mm. much, honestly. What color do you have? I have the Rose Taupe from, mm, yeah, and mine nice has the one. threading on the back, which mm. I I wish it didn't, um, but so maybe I'll get one of these. <laughs> um, other than that, what has been new? in the store how was your week in the store well i was actually in the store for like the whole weekend which i don't usually do so right, i got to right. see many different people that i don't usually see i got a visit from rich mm. i got a visit from young who i always mm. love talking to so i feel young. like a lot of familiar faces that i just haven't seen in a few in, in, in some time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I missed, I missed Jacob's little visit. So I'm oh, right. You weren't that. working that day. Or I'm you weren't there day. that day, I guess. I yeah. Oh, well, Sad. next time. Next time. Next time. He also came in here the other day, not at the store. Yeah. That was fun. Double missed. Yeah. Double missed. It's okay. There will be plenty of opportunities. Um, I saw a an old customer and friend of ours who I haven't seen in a long time. Her name is Zoe. I hadn't seen Zoe in so many years because she's not from New York, but I met her for the first time when she visited our Sunnyside store back when we had just started and just opened. She visited with her friend, um, Rhea, and um, they're both good customers of ours. And Zoe is, she has like, she is a stationary collector. She, we joked that she would call herself like a stationary squirrel or something because she can, she hoards stationary like acorns essentially. Um, That's so funny. Yeah. That's cute. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was a really cute nickname, um, but it was just so good to see her. It felt like, you know, it felt really nostalgic and reminded me of being back in the old store. Um, it was just it was just good to be a stop on her on her trip in New York where she hadn't been in a few years. So Zoe, thank you so much for coming by and spending some time in our shop. It was so good to see you. Yeah, thank you so much for visiting. I always love when customers who were at Sunnyside come to the Greenpoint store because I feel like they feel very at home, but in like a new way, yeah. in like a fresh experience way. So yeah. it's really cool to, yeah. to see that happen. I love when people have been to the Sunnyside store because it's just such a, it's such a core memory of mine for like, mm. you know, thinking back on Yoseka and I'll never, I'll never forget. Like, I just have such good memories of being in the store in Sunnyside and like, you know, not not really knowing what we were doing. Then. Oh, I also need to shout out. I can't remember if they had also been to the Sunnyside store, but it just jogged my memory. Joey and Yana, I think. Thank you, Joey and Yana, for visiting. It was really fun because they were both trying to match these um, Le Pen pen colors to fountain pen inks. Whoa. So they kind of just took over Were they successful? the swatching station. Yes, it was oh. very cool. Oh. They ended up getting a Pilot Yurishizuku ink and some Sailor Ink Studio inks, 
which I, yeah, I usually recommend the Sailor Ink Studios if you're trying to find like specific colors, like mm -hmm. color match, because mm -hmm. there's a hundred colors to mm -hmm. choose from. You can usually get pretty close. So it was like fun watching that process nice, happen nice. out of the corner of my eye. Oh my God. And it seemed like we had a really good time. Like there were so many pinks and blues <laughs> getting swatched. That's so funny. I feel like that does happen from time to time. Like people are trying to color match something really specific mm -hmm. and you just know when someone's on a mission to do because they just like get really hunker down in the ink bar in that corner and they're just like, you know, they're ready to like find what they're looking for. They're on a mission. All right. Well, I think that's about it for this episode of Catching Up. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, fell in love with the Sailor Minis with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you know let us know in the comments what your favorite newly added stationery was from this week thank you so much for watching and we shall see you in the next episode bye, bye.